Medicines for the uh, adrenals and for the for the nervous system. For a really freaked out green oats. Oh, you know what, Jack? I just find another green oat because what I need is the the, the strand. I'll show you a, another thing for kids. So don't don't eat it quite yet. I'm gonna show you. Scissors. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. Um, deep, deep nourishment of the nervous system. Um, for, yes, and actually, what you want to do, yes, Jack. Oh, good. What we need actually is the stem. The stem. Um, no, for, for I, I'm doing something else with Jack. Uh, so this one might be, these might be too unripe. You need to get them at exactly the right stage. So there is the unripe grain in there that will there you go so the unripe grain at the perfect stage is milky and when you when you um when you press into it you'll see that it turns milky that's the grain that is not ripened yet it still is in a liquid state this is the best state for the medicine if you eat it it'll taste like oats really that's oats mm, can you feel the kind of starchiness in there is that it right there that is the best Okay. No. No. That's. Oh, thank you. A uh, long one. Long one. Um, just chew it up. Um, so, but when they are in the. Okay, hold on just a moment and I will find you a, a long one. So, when it's in the milky stage like that and it only lasts for about three days when it's in milky stage, you want to harvest it and make, again, a fresh plant tincture. You can dry it, but it's best if you if you harvest it then. Grab, bring a jar of Everclear along with you. Go find it, <laughs> harvest <laughs> it, and just pop it right into the jar. <laughs> because again, the constituents degrade upon um, drying, not completely, and you can still use them when they're dried. But they're they're best used when they are fresh. So as a as a deep nourishing agent for the nervous system, there are few plants that are better allies than wild oats, taken every day for nourishment and rebuilding of the nervous system. Now, it is also known as an aphrodisiac, which is where <laughs> sowing your wild oats comes from. And quite often you will see aphrodisiacs that are sold and they use the genus name because it's always much more fancy if you can use a Latin name for a plant than if you're using a common name. Oats is not terribly fancy, but a vena. Avena. So if you've ever seen um, like sexual, I was gonna say, like Venus. yeah, no, there, Hi. there you go. Although, um, uh, so if you see um, um, aphrodisiac herbal combinations, they will quite often list avena as one of the plant medicines that they're using. That's what it is. It's wild oats. Sounds more exotic um, than wild oats. <laughs> it sounds much more exotic. If you were making a tincture, mm -hmm. um, say, you know, maybe that's what I'm seeing these everywhere. <laughs> Goodness. You'd want to fill up your jar. Yes. You yes. find me a long one. I will find you a there's, long one. Um, there's like a whole <laughs> bunch of them on the trail. <laughs> fill it up with the oats and then cover by about an inch with your alcohol. And that's all. Straight and sh shake it again from an, about a new moon to a full moon is the duration of time that you want to tincture. You can go longer than that. Than that. It turns a gorgeous, brilliant emerald green. Beautiful wow. green color. Um, and uh, and then you harvest it. Yes. So that's how you would you would harvest it. Oh, we need. That's what we need right there. Thank you very much. Um, can you hold that? I already swiped a couple off of that. <laughs> So the other thing that you can do with green oat stem, and it has to be green, it can't be old. Uh, you can make a lizard right. catcher. You can make a lizard oh. catcher. Oh. Really? Oh. Really? Oh. Lizard. really? <laughs> yeah, what you do, you do. Have you caught one with it? Uh-huh, I used to catch them all the time. So you make a little loop like this, but you want it longer. And you sneak up behind the lizard. <laughs> you sneak up behind the lizard. <laughs> and it's sitting there like this on its rock and you sneak up behind it and you go like that around its neck and then it moves forward and it tightens <laughs> this around its neck. It doesn't hurt it. And it doesn't it hurt it if it gives yeah. uh, and then you can pick it up and you can pick it up and go hello lizard I'm admiring you oh you are so beautiful and then you let it go again. So that's Jack that's what I wanted to show you that's how you make a lizard catcher. And so, so when we see another lizard on a rock, we'll make a catcher, and then Actually, we'll be able to catch him. I think. I, I, I hope think so. Because lizard. if you have to shell every one of them, <laughs> to fill up the bottle. No, you don't have to shell 